I think one of my favorite stories about somebody that I know for many years who overcame unbelievable challenges to become incredibly successful is my friend Tony Hassini. Tony Hassini, 70 something years ago, was born in Cyprus. Uh, his mother was part of a concubine. And he left when he was 16. He was very poor. And he saved up some money and he got on a um, kind of one of these uh, freight boats, went to England, went to the United States, and all he had when he came to the United States was one dollar. When he was in Cyprus, somebody had shown him a little trick with a matchstick. And he loved that trick, and he was very industrious and very tenacious, and he bought himself a box of matches, and he went down into the subway, and he started doing his little matchstick trick. And people would throw in a dollar or two dollars or some coins. Within a couple of days, he had earned about two hundred dollars. He met a lovely woman who had come off the train to sort of watch his trick, and he married her three days later. They got married, and he started saving up money to buy more things that he could develop into tricks. He became, with practice over several years, one of the leading magicians, not only in the country, but in the world. And he started not only doing tricks, but teaching uber magi magicians to do them. Doug Henning, David Copperfield, Chris Angel, all of them will attribute a large part of their success to the tricks and sleight of hand and illusions that were created by Tony Hassini. Now in his mid-70s, he also confessed one other thing to me, because he has this big bushy hair. He said, Linda, something else I never told you is that the reason I have this big bushy hair is because I'm deaf. And I have these two big hearing aids that I've had in my ears since I was four years old. So not only did I overcome everything else in life, I also overcame being deaf. And he is one of my heroes.